On Apple Valley News Now at 6, we're tracking a proposal through the state legislature that would change the rules about when you have to report that a gun has been lost or stolen. And a mild start to our work week with a nice surprise waiting for you this coming weekend. I'll get you all the details in my first alert weather forecast. Also on this President's Day, tens of thousands of dollars in sports cards found after they disappear in Walla Walla last week. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6 on your side. Hope you had a good weekend, everybody. Welcome to your Monday. Thanks for watching. I'm Austin Reed. And I'm Alyssa Warner. Thanks for joining us on this President's Day. Yeah, happy President's Day. We are nearing the end of the Washington State Legislative Session, and one of the bills still advancing would tighten gun control laws. Now, Austin, this is something we saw significant changes to gun laws in Washington last year during the legislative session. They banned on assault weapons and then required waiting period to buy guns. This year, the focus is on potentially stolen guns. House Bill 1903 has passed the State House and is now being considered in the Washington Senate. It would require gun owners to report lost or stolen firearms no more than 24 hours after they discover the loss, unless there's a good reason. The way the bill is written raised questions during a public hearing in the Senate Law and Justice Committee. So how is should have known treated in the bill? Because that's kind of a, I guess, a a hard area for me to understand. There's also good cause reasons for delay. What would be an example of good cause? The bill does not define what good cause, a good cause reason for a delay would be. Uh, so I believe that would be um, a matter that would be argued in front of a court. Advocates say the bill is a common sense way to make sure that gun owners are connecting with law enforcement when their firearms go missing. Every year in this country, 380,000 firearms are stolen from gun owners. Only 65% of those thefts are reported to law enforcement. And the number one source of stolen guns in America is from parked cars. Richland police say just last week, someone stole a gun from a car and is suspected of using it to shoot out the windows in nearly a dozen nearby businesses within a matter of hours. And one of the people testifying in favor of the bill reminded lawmakers that a stolen gun was used in a deadly shooting inside a Seattle high school around a year and a half ago. The gun that you used was stolen. It was not safely stored, and its theft was reported three weeks late by its owner. Subsequently, that gun passed through at least four pairs of teenage hands before it was used by a 14-year-old to fatally shoot a 17-year-old. Opponents say this law would simply put another restriction on responsible gun owners instead of cracking down on the people who break the laws that we already have. Washington voters chose to require reporting the theft of a firearm within five days under Initiative 1639. So why does this bill remove that incentive? and replace it with the heavy hand of government and a 24-hour window. Now again, that proposal has already passed the state house. It's now before the Senate. It is scheduled for a committee vote in the Senate on Tuesday morning, and the legislative session is set to wrap up on March 7th this year. So much to discuss. Yes, absolutely a lot going on in Olympia right now. Yeah. And, you know, we're starting to see the sort of trend towards spring-like weather, Austin. We are. Uh, Stacy joining us with a first look at your forecast. Happy President's Day. That's right. Happy President's Day. Looking pretty good. We had that rain come through earlier today, but things are clear, a little bit cloudy out there, and uh, we're going to be cooling down tonight. We do have light winds at 7 miles an hour, so it feels like temp 41 showing 45 on the thermostat there. All right, let's take a look at our visibility. We had socked in fog today along the foothills of the blues, and we have a dense fog advisory there through tomorrow afternoon. We're seeing some fog in the Cleellum area just uh, yeah, west of Ellensburg this evening, and we'll continue to see that tonight. So patchy, dense fog, unsettled weather through Wednesday, meaning we could see some spotty showers here and there over the next couple of days. We've got warmer temperatures on the way and a really nice weekend ahead. Let's take a peek outside and look at those temperatures for the lows tonight. It's going to be chilly. Uh, everybody skirting right around that freezing level. 33 tonight, Tri-Cities as well as Walla Walla. 32 in Pendleton. We see 32 in Yakima. 31 tonight in Ellensburg. So lots of details to get to in my first alert full weather forecast. Austin, Alyssa. All right, Stacy, we'll see you soon. Thank you. We have good news tonight when it comes to a story we first brought you last week here on Apple Valley News Now. The comic book store in Walla Walla has tracked down a missing package worth literally thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. We, we sent in um, 
a bunch of cards, but I had five that went in specially because they were really high value, expensive cards. But the missing trading cards were found after a FedEx intervention. And a couple of days went by and they said, well, there might just be a mix up of FedEx. FedEx could be behind. So I gave them a few days. And when it became a full week, I was on a full on panic because they had, they were supposedly on the truck to be delivered and they just have not shown up. Among the missing cards was a highly sought after 1986-87 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie card, graded 3.5. Additionally, the package contained four coveted Magic the Gathering cards from the original 1993 Alpha release, a Mox Ruby graded 7, a Mox Sapphire graded 5.5, a Badlands graded 9.5, and a Bayou graded 8.5. FedEx went above and beyond this past weekend, and uh, they happened to trace them down. They were uh, apparently accidentally ended up on a Walmart truck, from what I understand. And they were in a Walmart distribution center in some sort of lost package area <laughs> or you know, an area where they put the packages that don't belong to Walmart. And uh, they were able to trace that down. Do you think that you would see them again? No, <laughs> I I didn't really, at, at this point, after it had been a full week. At this point, no one is in trouble, but the investigation is ongoing, Alyssa. Glad to see that all worked out for them. Now, yeah. Benton County Fire District 1 is hosing down on structure fire safety. Benton County Fire District 1 official Jenna Kokenauer tell, says that getting a new structure fire engine was essential as the previous engine was outdated. The new structure fire engine has a capacity of about 750 gallons. It can pump water at a rate of about 1,500 gallons per minute. Coconut also says this is a six-person cab that allows them to transport a good-sized fire crew to be able to get to these larger events. And she says that fire trucks have a lifespan of about 20 to 25 years, and they are constantly evaluating fire equipment to ensure safety when they go out on a call and to avoid any unwanted issues at a fire. What we don't want to have happen is a fire truck breaks down on the way to a medical or fire emergency. We don't want a chainsaw to not be able to work to, to get into a roof when we're trying to put out a structure fire. So it's very important that we're constantly monitoring and maintaining equipment and, and swapping things out when they need to be replaced so that we're always fully prepared for events. She says this fire truck is primarily a structure fire vehicle, so it'll respond mainly to structure fires as buildings and serve as a backup for wildland fires. She also says that they're looking into getting more new fire trucks in the months to come to be able to help keep our community safe. An opportunity for Pasco business owners to network with law enforcement. Pasco police will hold a Q1 business watch meeting. The department calls this an initiative designed to foster collaboration between law officers and local businesses. The meeting starts tomorrow afternoon at 1. That's at the Hapo Center Business Lounge, and it is open to business owners in District 2. All right, we saw some rain today. You might be looking forward to spring and warmer weather. We're going to talk about why this might be the time to plan a cruise coming up. Oh, that sounds good. Plus, mild conditions in our area, but things will change. And then there's something nice waiting for us. At the end of the week, Stacy has your forecast coming up. And fans are really rolling over the special anniversary for the Roll Arena. You're watching Apple Valley News Now at 6. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DOE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Good morning, America. This week, get ready to laugh. Because when J.B. Smoove and Amy Schumer are in the GMA House Live, Man, what? anything can happen. We're troublemakers. This week on America's favorite morning show, Good Morning America. Get 7,500 purchase allowance on most 2024 Cadillac Lyric models. Visit your Yakima and Tri-Cities Cadillac dealer today. 
Now is the perfect time to get a big deal on a brand new Honda. Honda is Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand. That means deals on Pilot, on CRV, on HRV, on Accord, on Civic, and the rest of the Honda lineup. And right now, well-qualified buyers can get 2.9% APR financing on Accord, Civic, and CRV. But don't wait. For big deals on America's best brand, hurry into your Southeastern Washington Honda dealer today. The table is set for Walla Walla's culinary celebration this February. Walla Walla Restaurant Month returns to spotlight the Valley's culinary stars. For 2024, the focus is on the bounty of the area's fine dining with nine local restaurants. Each restaurant is offering three-course meals for only $42 all month long. Visit our website here for more information to reserve your dining experience. Come savor the flavors from some of your favorite places or discover a new one during Walla Walla's Restaurant Month. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. Now is the perfect time to get a big deal on a brand new Honda. Honda is Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand. That means deals on Pilot, on CRV, on HRV, on Accord, on Civic, and the rest of the Honda lineup. And right now, well-qualified buyers can get 3.9% APR financing on the Honda Pilot or HRV. But don't wait. For big deals on America's best brand, hurry into your Southeastern Washington Honda dealer today. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. Welcome back. A special anniversary fell over the weekend for a popular Richland business, the Roll Arena Skating Center is celebrating seven decades in Richland. That's a long time. Well, Apple Valley News Now's Riley Fitzgerald spoke with the family that owns the Roll Arena to find out what's changed. Everything has changed. In other ways, it's nothing has changed. It was a day to look back on history and a lot of people saying, do you remember when? Spotlighting stories dating back 70 years at the hot spot of many family favorite memories. Howard and Grace Bacon opened the Roll Arena Skating Center in 1953. It was 1977 when their son, Alan, took over the family business. Over time, technology is one of the biggest things that has changed in the 70-year history. Technology for the construction of the skates, the music delivery, the lighting system, all of that has evolved over time, and I, I expect that it will continue to do so. The Roll Arena is a staple for kids' birthday parties and teenage dates, and it stayed that way all while staying in the same family. The Bacons say their daughter Kelsey has taken on the role of general manager, and soon the future of the iconic skating rink will be with her. Life just kind of has worked out so that I'm in the right place at the right time, and um, I, it's an exciting opportunity to be able to carry on the business another 70 years. So um, I think that would be really fun to see what this what what happens in the next couple decades. Admission and concession proceeds at the 70th anniversary skate were donated to My Friend's Place a homeless shelter for teenagers. And the Roll Arena is also matching those funds raised. So it was exciting to be able to help them. And then the last 10 years, we've been able to do a lot more fundraisers and they've been able to grow and they have more support from the community as well. More than $33,000 have been raised by the Roll Arena in the past decade for My Friend's Place. While some traditions may be new and programs have changed, skaters know that the Roll Arena is still on the same role that it's always been on. So a lot of people come in and see the barrel, barreled roof and that never changes, but everything else has changed. Uh, but what hasn't changed is the fun of being on eight wheels and hanging out with uh, family and friends. That, that will never change. All right, that was Riley Fitzgerald reporting. Kelsey says the Roll Arena has a really strong adults night, which is every week on Thursday. And for all of the people who used to skate as kids, 
You can write, read about the programs at the Rolla Arena. That's on our website. We've created a special link, Apple Valley newsnow.com i was looking at the the little uh the, the what do you call that it's like where, where you they give you the help i'm gonna need that when i'm like 70. <laughs> from apple valley news now first alert weather with stacy lee yeah we're gonna have to get out and do a little roller skating austin all right dust double sky camp tonight 45 degrees in pasco or feels like temp 41 winds are mild seven mile per hour and our sun set at 528 and a month from now we'll be seeing sunsets at about 7 p.m. So very excited about that. Uh, temperatures elsewhere around the area. We're still sitting at 40 degrees in Yakima. It's a cool 37 in Ellensburg. Moving into the Columbia Basin, we're in the low mid 40s here and in the 30s along the foothills of the Blues. It's 40 degrees right now in Pendleton. Storm track aimed right at California once again, getting slammed with more unneeded rain at this point. But what does uh, what doesn't get so soaked up in California will head our direction over the next two days. So a little bit unsettled as we move through the next couple of days. Uh, Storm track will take a closer look at our weather pattern and here's what we see. There's that rain shifting off. We see more snow in the Sierra Nevadas and a few of those showers still making their way up into Washington State with some light snow about four to forty five hundred feet. Four thousand to forty five hundred feet is where we'll be seeing the snow over the next couple of days. Unsettled. We still could see a stray shower this evening through Walla Walla. This is what it looks like overnight. That's going to be those snow showers on the east slopes of the Cascades. Yakima seeing a few sprinkles overnight. Tomorrow morning we'll see those sprinkles mainly along the foothills of the Blues between Pendleton and Walla Walla. And then we're just very unsettled. There's just pockets of scattered showers uh, through Wednesday. This is uh, going in later on the day Wednesday. Once we get past Wednesday though, things will start to calm and clear out of the area. We'll start seeing sunshine and better conditions and warmer weather. We do have a fog, dense fog advisory for the foothills of the Blues. Once again today they were down to about a quarter of a mile of visibility this morning. More than likely we'll see that happening again tomorrow morning. Here's what our temperatures look like around the area tonight. Mostly cloudy with that patchy fog. Foothills of the Blues. We could even see some fog developing in the Yakima and Kittitas Valley. We've been seeing some fog uh, this evening in Clea Alum. 33 uh, for the low tonight there and moving into the Tri-Cities we'll see the low 30s and those freezing uh, temperatures down in Pendleton at 32 degrees. So pretty cool night overall. Grab your coat. Now Tomorrow things start to warm up again. We remain unsettled, mostly cloudy and seasonable, but there's going to be a stray shower mainly towards the foothills of the blues, but we could see a few of those popping up uh, through the Yakima and Columbia Basin. Walla Walla 49 tomorrow, 50 in the Tri Cities, 47 in Yakima, 44 tomorrow in Ellensburg. Let's take a look at these warmer temperatures on the way. Now our average for Tri Cities this time of year, 50 degrees. We're going to start getting above that average and check out those nice warm temperatures getting into the weekend. So weekends looking pretty promising temperature wise. 40s transitioning to 50s by uh, Thursday in Yakima as well with temperatures up to 53 on Sunday. Weather photos, what a beauty this is. That is Rattlesnake Mountain covered in snow. I'm pretty sure most of that snow has melted now, but a great photo nonetheless. Thanks to our friend Stan for sending that in. Remember to get outside, click those photos, send them in to me, Esley at applevalleynewsnow.com. Let's plan your day tomorrow. Chilly out the door, looking for a little bit of fog in the Yakima Valley. 40s by the midday. Tri-Cities a little overcast, could see some early morning fog, and we're going to track some showers possible along the foothills of the Blues, along with some dense fog there as well in Walla Walla, but not a bad looking day overall. Alyssa, Austin. Thanks, Stacey. And up next on Apple Valley News, now thanks, Austin. I don't know about you, but these kind of gloomy days always have me wanting to plan a trip, maybe a cruise. Yeah, that sounds good, actually. Industry experts say you could save some cash by planning a floating vacation. Those details when we come on back. The story of a country line dancer who gave her pain the boot. This is Shelly. Once I start dancing, I forget where I am. So what was tripping her up? Foot pain, knee pain, and back pain. Then she got fitted for Good Feet Arch Supports. It was magical. I knew, oh my gosh, this is what I need to stay on the dance floor. And stay there, Shelly does. That's my happy place. <laughs> I'm not going to stop. Step in for your free fitting at the Good Feet Store. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. 
When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. Want to test drive U.S. Cellular's network free for 30 days? Yeah. Use this app. Want to do it even faster? Here we go. Oh, wow. U.S. Cellular works great out here. Wow. Still have 5G here, too. Hey, I wonder if U.S. Cellular lets me stream in my... Rec room. Yep, it's working. Hey, thanks for the lift. Test drive U.S. Cellular's award-winning network free for 30 days. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of blackjack, pie gal, heads up hold'em, or high card flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our players club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino where the locals play. Are you looking for a new car that's sporty, fun, practical, with great fuel efficiency? Check out the 2024 Kia Forte LXS at Overturf Kia and make a bold impression when you ride in style. Now, just $19,999. Plus, get 3.9% interest for up to 48 months. Take delivery today or reserve a car that's on its way. Shop online anytime at OverturfKia.com. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. Think about the best night's sleep you've ever had. At Tempur-Pedic, we're dedicated to helping you sleep like that. With breakthrough solutions that help relieve pressure, aches and pains, keep you cool if you sleep hot, and even automatically detect and respond to snoring so you get the deep, comfortable, undisturbed rest you deserve. Save up to $500 on select adjustable mattress sets during our President's Day event at Meredith Furniture. Nice thought during our cold winter weather, escaping to sunny climates on a cruise. Now it is a great time to book a cruise and score some big deals. A new at six, Jen Sullivan explains why. It's time to start cruising for a deal. Major cruise companies are offering big discounts right now. It's known as wave season. Wave season is the time of year when the entire cruise industry goes on sale. Wave season starts in January and runs through the beginning of March. You don't need to travel right now to score the deals. Travel expert Emily Kaufman says you can book a cruise all the way through 2025. You just need to book the trip now. So what kind of deals are we seeing? They've got added value offers with things like two for one sailing, cap and category upgrades, credits to be used on board. From river cruises to luxury ships anywhere around the world, this is the time to score discounts. Right now, Norwegian Cruise Lines is offering a two for one deal. That's on many of their cruises, even the European destinations. They're also offering a savings of $1,000 for free third or fourth guests on select dates. Royal Caribbean Cruises boasts up to $700 off, plus 60% off a second guest, and kids sail for free. MSC is offering 40% off and up to $400 onboard credit, but that deal only lasts until February 20th. Kaufman says cruises are a great way for families to save. For one price, you get your accommodations, your meals, your activities on board. If you are booking for a future trip, keep in mind that prices will be even cheaper if you book during an off-season time. And of course, you do have to factor in flights if you have to fly to the port city where the cruise departs from. All right, we're talking going green electric school buses, a proposal that aims to make it easier for districts in Washington to get a hold of them. That's ahead at 6.30. Why isn't the Fred Meyer shooter going to prison? Apple Valley News Now at 5 and 6 Tuesday.
It's time to play Get to Know the Raptors and Alice. Favorite food. Pizza, duh. Ribeye steak, rare. A bowl of cantaloupe the size of a swimming pool. Favorite triple play attraction. Two words, arcade. The entire Raptor Reef indoor water park. Zip line. It's great for talking with guests. Triple play has fun attractions for everyone, including bowling, ropes course, and many more. All attached to a cozy hotel. Cantaloupe, really? Steak, really? Are you an experienced machinist? We have a job for you. Pasco Machine is hiring now. We offer generous wages, overtime, double time, full medical, paid holidays, and four-day work schedule. Apply online today at pascomachine.com. Like most backseat drivers, I'm all about safety. Uh-oh! The Schwab fixes brakes, steering, and more. Stop in for our Founders Celebration Sale and save up to $150 on select sets of four tires. Hi, I'm Gino at Italstone. Hi, I'm Andrew at Italstone. Excited to join my father's business, a true family business. And we got great news for you. We just got a fantastic deal on quartz and granite slabs that we want to pass on to you. You will be shocked at the savings. Come and see us for a free estimate. You'll be glad you did. We are with you every step of the way. February is Heart Health Awareness Month. To keep your heart fit, make sure you have regular checkups. Get more at applevalleynewsnow.com. Proudly sponsored by Prosser Memorial Health, your five-star rated hospital. This is how we care. Jordan's sore nose let out a fiery sneeze, so Dad grabbed Puffs Plus Lotion to soothe her with ease. Puffs Plus Lotion is gentle on sensitive skin and locks in moisture to provide soothing relief. A nose in need deserves Puffs indeed. America's number one lotion tissue. Want to know how I get this glow? I get ready with new Olay Indulgent Moisture Body Wash. It smells amazing and gives my skin over-the-top moisture. From dull to visibly glowing in 14 days. What? Major noise. See the difference with Olay. Next ET. What a night, what a night, what a night. ET Vault Unlocked Oprah. Five decades of never-before-seen interviews. <laughs> you know you've made it when Entertainment Tonight is talking to you. Next ET. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. A new study shows that grandparents can have a positive impact on a mother's mental health, especially when mothers are separated from their partners. Researchers in Finland tracked nearly half a million mothers of young children between 2000 and 2014. They found mothers were less likely to use antidepressants if their own parents were younger than 70, still working, and didn't have their own health problems. Moms with older parents or in-laws in poor health or living far away were more likely to turn to antidepressants. Well, a new study finds that senior citizens may benefit from virtual reality. You know, the high-tech stuff is right there. <laughs> Plus, we're clearing the air as Washington lawmakers face a proposal that would make it easier for all school districts to get an electric school bus. And a cougar attack, a cyclist hurt in Washington's wilderness. How one group stopped the big cat as your news at 6.30 starts now. This is Apple Valley News Now at 6.30 on your side. Improving children's health by providing zero emission school buses. Washington state lawmakers are considering a proposal called House Bill 1368. Now this would require and fund the purchase of zero emission school buses. The Pasco School District, as of right now, has three of these EV buses, but they have yet to hit the roads. So the proposal before the legislature would allow for more schools to switch to electric buses. School districts would be able to apply for grants to purchase them and then high speed charging stations along with the batteries. Pollution reduction is the main goal when it comes to this bill. 
and to improve air quality to make it healthier. Anna Leasing, a senior climate advisor to Governor Inslee, testified today in support of the bill, saying that these are the benefits of switching to EV buses. The bill will significantly benefit children's health without overtaxing school districts' limited resources. It ensures that down the road, when electric school buses cost the same as diesel buses, school districts and school bus contractors, contractors switch to healthier, cleaner buses. And for schools that want to move faster, it scales up an existing successful grant program to provide zero-emission buses and chargers. Parents and doctors, including the American Lung Association, have shared about the health benefits of electric buses, like fewer asthma attacks. We've heard from school bus drivers about how the mental health benefits they've seen, they've seen how kids are calmer and more relaxed because they don't have to shout over diesel engines. Now she also says studies have shown improved attendance and school performance for children who ride electric school buses. As of right now, the average diesel bus costs around $165,000. An electric bus costs around $400 thousand dollars. Now a lot of that clean energy is coming from sun and wind. Right now we're not seeing too much sun though. Stacy Lee joins us with a look at what to expect this evening. Hi Stacy. Hey Alyssa, that's going to be getting better. We we're going to be a little cloudy, a little unsettled for the next couple of days. We have some clouds developing tonight. 45 degrees on our Legends Casino Skycam. Feels like 41 and it's going to be chilly tonight, so grab a coat if you're heading out. We're also tracking some fog developing in the Kittitas Valley. Uh, we do have a dense fog advisory for the foothills of the Blues, Walla Walla to Pendleton. They were down to a quarter mile visibility this morning. Probably going to see that again with all the humidity in the air. Let's take a peek at our seven day planning forecast. Chance of rain, little unsettled, like I said, through Wednesday for both Yakima and Tri Cities. Look at the sunshine and look at those warmer temps as we get to the weekend. Looking pretty good. A little unsettled there with the showers possible for Walla Walla. Slight chance of rain in Hermiston. Sunshine headed our way Thursday into the weekend with those warmer temperatures uh, running above average for this time of year. So it's looking pretty good. We're going to have a nice little warm up later on. Alyssa. Austin. Thanks, Stacy. Making news around the nation tonight. Two students were killed at the University of Colorado in Colorado Springs Friday. The police now have a suspect in custody. Just after 6 a.m., police responded to a shots fired call at a dorm on the campus. Two victims were found dead with gunshot wounds in a dorm room. The campus was placed on lockdown for hours over the weekend, and today another student was taken into custody. They're facing two counts of first degree murder. Colorado Springs police uh, say that the suspect was found in a car early this morning and taken into custody without incident. Police said the students knew each other and this was not a random attack. We will never forget the lives we have lost. My heart is broken for the victims of today's senseless violence. And I join in the grieving with their family and friends and our entire community. United States and world leaders are reacting to reports that Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny has died in prison. Now, prison authorities claim the 47-year-old outspoken critic of Russian President Vladimir Putin suffered a sudden death on Friday at the penal colony where he was incarcerated north of the Arctic Circle. But Navalny led nationwide anti-Kremlin protests for more than a decade, and it was a quest for change that made him the target of arrests and a poisoning that nearly killed him. He had been imprisoned in Siberia, serving a 19-year sentence for extremism. Pre President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris put the blame for opposition leader Alexei Navalny's death directly on current Russian President Vladimir Putin. I'm literally both not surprised and outraged by the news. Whatever story they tell, let us be clear, Russia is responsible. Now, CNN had once asked Navalny why he would risk losing everything, including his own life, to keep challenging Putin. Here's his response. The choice is very simple. You are either scared or you go on. I chose to go on a long time ago. All right, other news around the world. The U.S. Army has spent more than 430 million bucks to support Ukraine against Russia since October. The money comes from the Army because Congress has not passed supplemental funding to support Ukraine. The money came from the Army's Europe and Africa Command. According to a senior Army official, without a 2024 budget approved by Congress and without more funding for Ukraine, the command will run out of cash and be $2 billion short. The command's budget could also run out of money for Ukraine, Europe and Africa by the end of May. 
The U.S. government wants to know what happened to an Air Force drone that crashed in Yemen. Military officials say the MQ-9 Reaper, a tool primarily used in intelligence operations, crashed today. Who the forces backed by Iran claim to have shot it down? That as a crew aboard a commercial ship in the Gulf of Adan had to abandon the ship after a Houthi attack. A Houthi spokesperson says this comes in retaliation for, quote, American British aggression, end quote, in Yemen. The U.S. has continued its strikes against the Houthis inside Yemen for the group's ongoing attacks. Well, we've reported a lot lately about the growth of artificial intelligence, and now the company OpenAI, that's behind ChatGPT, has reportedly just signed a deal which values the company at more than $80 million. That is triple the company's valuation less than a year ago. According to the New York Times, this deal is with the venture firm Thrive Capital. That company would sell existing shares in a so-called tender offer. It would also allow current workers to cash out their shares. OpenAI hasn't commented on the alleged new funding deal. Now, you may remember OpenAI fired its chief executive back in November, but he was eventually reinstated after workers threatened to leave. Well, in other business-related news, a boom in U.S. productivity may explain how inflation is slowed during a strong economy. Labor Department data shows the productivity increased 2.7% in the fourth quarter from a year prior. That's above the average increase over the past 20 years. Strong productivity means higher wage growth. It also means that employers don't have to pass costs to consumers since they produce enough to cover labor costs. The Wall Street Journal reports that Capital One is buying Discover Financial Services. That deal would combine two of the largest credit card companies in the United States and would be one of the biggest mergers so far this year. Of course, it is only February. The Wall Street Journal reports that Capital One plans to switch some of their cards to the Discover network and to keep the Discover brand. Now, this all-stock deal could be announced as early as tomorrow. Well, here in our area, we're talking cool conditions and gray skies over the Mid-Columbia. are expecting some changes this week. Stacey Lee is tracking that in your first alert forecast. Also ahead on the area's only local news at 6.30, a surprise attack. A group of cyclists come face to face with a cougar in the Washington wilderness. Stay with us. Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Today, we seize the day. Because at U.S. Cellular, you can get an epic Samsung Galaxy S24 with Galaxy AI. Now, you might be wondering, do I deserve a free Samsung Galaxy S24? You do. You deserve it. Each and every one of you deserves one. Even me? Look under your chair. That's right. Incredible. It's incredible. New and current customers can get the Samsung Galaxy S24 on us with no trade-in. U.S. Cellular. Now is the perfect time to get a big deal on a brand new Honda. Honda is Kelly Blue Book's KBB.com best value brand. That means deals on Pilot, on CRV, on HRV, on Accord, on Civic, and the rest of the Honda lineup. And right now, well-qualified buyers can get 3.9% APR financing on the Honda Pilot or HRV. But don't wait. For big deals on America's best brand, hurry into your Southeastern Washington Honda dealer today. We're Washington Broadband, Yakima's original internet company. With over 250 square miles of fixed wireless, 60 miles of cable, 20 miles of fiber to the home, we are serious internet. Throughout the year, our crews are building fiber and cable to homes and businesses in the upper Yakima Valley. We've never raised our prices in 28 years. With seven day a week support, we're also a phone company. Go to wabroadband.com to find us. We're Yakima's hometown source to the world. When you have moderate to severe eczema, it's okay to show off. With Dupixin, show off your clearer skin and less itch, because you have plenty of reasons to show off your skin. With Dupixin, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, you can stay ahead of your eczema 
It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your skin from within. Many adults saw 90% clearer skin. Some even achieved long-lasting clearer skin and fast itch relief after first dose. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems, such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your eczema specialist about Dupixit. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. We appreciate you staying with us on this President's Day. A rare cougar attack in Washington's Cascades Wilderness over the weekend. Five cyclists attacked near Tokul. Now, that's a creek five miles from the town of Snoqualmie. It happened Saturday afternoon, and the attack left a 60-year-old cyclist hurt. That person's fellow cyclists pinned down the cougar until a Washington Fish and Wildlife agent could get there. They did struggle with this animal, they did fight back, and if it wasn't for these people, um, this, uh, uh, the, the lady that was attacked would be in much worse shape. Tonight, the Fish and Wildlife agent says that he, in, he uh, euthanized the cougar, and the animal is approximately six months old. One of the cyclists spotted a second cougar, but a search using dogs did not locate one. State Fish and Wildlife says cougar attacks remain rare in Washington state. In the past 100 years, there have been two deadly attacks and 20 that left some, uh, someone hurt. All right, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife is inviting the public to comment on its shrub step restoration and resiliency initiative. This is a long-term conservation strategy for the landscape of our region. In 2020, wildfires burned over 600,000 acres of shrub step habitat. Now, the plan includes restoring habitat and supporting wildlife like sage, as well as working land areas that support the livelihoods of many residents in eastern Washington. The initiative also considers the hunting gathering and ceremonial lands for indigenous communities. The draft version of the initiative is available online and comments from the public are now encouraged. The deadline to submit your comments is this Wednesday. Well, nationwide, more than 37 million people are facing some level of flood risk. This is in California this evening as another severe storm system is dumping more rain and snow on the California. They're already saturated. Yeah, it just does not end. Laura Aguirre has more on how many Californians are bracing for yet another round of savage weather. The term atmospheric river is becoming mainstream for Californians. Forecasters say another excessive rain system will soak much of the state through Tuesday, dumping up to 10 inches in some remote areas and touching off flash floods and landslides on ground already soft from a similar round of storms earlier this month. We have a tree like this in one of our in front of our house, and so just you know a little little nervous there. Many Sacramento residents wonder if they'll be next to suffer property destruction in the recent steady stream of storms. The damage tab in that city alone reported by officials as $12 million before any possible high winds, large hail, or tornadoes in the area Monday. The big price tag right now was the uh, damage done to the electricity grid. Thousands remain without power across the state this hour. Fire crews in Ventura County working to manually channel floodwaters away from nearby homes. It's a weather cycle that's keeping many contractors in the state busy. Within a week or two after every large windstorm, rain or not, we start to get the calls. This latest atmospheric river is predicted to dump around five more feet of fresh snow onto the eastern Sierra Nevada mountains, with the system pushing more of the same north and east across several states into Wednesday. I'm Laura Aguirre for Apple Valley News Now.
From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Stacy Lee. And unfortunately, that is the situation that fire hose pointed right at California. Once again, that's that storm track set up for tomorrow. We're going to remain uh, unstable for the next couple of days and some of that moisture even making it as far as our area as well and the northern part of the state along the Canadian border. Here's the weather pattern for the next couple of days. Anyway, going forward, you see that jet stream that's going to bring all of that moisture up up to the north. We see some snow showers at the very tippy top right there at the Canadian border. Uh, we're going to see some scattered showers, very unsettled weather for the next couple of days and even some snow showers at about the 4000 to 4500 foot rains in the mountains, not expecting a ton of moisture from this system in our area. 45 degrees right now in our dust devil sky cam in Pasco. It's seven degrees at, or seven to mile an hour winds that is and our feels like temp is 41 degrees. Now our sunset at 528. Think about this. About a month from now, we'll be seeing sunsets at around 7 p.m. We're getting ready to spring forward very soon. Temperatures elsewhere around the area on the chilly side. We're down to 37 right now in Walla Walla. It's 45 Tri-Cities, 40 in Yakima, 37 in Ellensburg. Let's take a peek at our future cast and try to keep an eye on these scattered systems as they move through. And we'll see a little band of showers coming through late night from Hepner up into Hermiston, down the Yakima Valley and into Ellensburg, and maybe even a couple of uh, sprinkles coming through the Columbia Basin. Tomorrow morning, most of the rain will be sticking to the foothills of the Blues and on the west side of the state over there in the I-5 corridor, but it's very unsettled, and so I wouldn't doubt a stray shower popping up here and there over the next couple of days. Here's Wednesday morning. That's where we're going to see more of that snow and those upper elevations. We're looking at rain showers here for Pendleton, Hermiston, outskirts of Tri-Cities and a little bit more snow falling on the east slopes of the Cascades. We do have a dense fog advisory that's in place till noon tomorrow. Foothills of the Blues, once again, they were impacted this morning. Visibility was down to a quarter mile or less. So with those chilly temperatures, you could even see some freezing fog. There's quite a bit of humidity in the air right now from all of those showers. Well, we've got cloudy skies and patchy fog developing through the area tonight. We're down in the 30s, almost right there at that freezing level, just above it for Walla Walla and Tri-Cities. 32 for Pendleton tonight, 32 in Yakima, and 31 degrees in Ellensburg. Let's take a peek at those daytime highs for tomorrow. We could see a, a sun break here and there and also a scattered shower through the area, but temperatures feeling much more seasonable. We have 53 for Pendleton, 50 in the Tri-Cities, 47 in Yakima, 48 for Toppenish, 53 tomorrow for Dayton. Let's take a peek at these uh, temperature trends. They're starting to come up. Look at this. We're going to be about five degrees above the average by Saturday in the Tri-Cities. We're going to hit that average in Yakima on Wednesday and then move slightly above average as we head into the week. So it's going to be a great looking weekend. Let's talk weather photos. Here's another great one from our friend Stan. He sent this in. That's a Rattlesnake Mountain. Uh, covered in snow and I don't know if you knew this, but Rattlesnake Mountain is the tallest treeless mountain in the western United States. So pretty cool. Thanks for sharing that stand. Remember to uh, snap your photos and send them to me, S. Lee at AppleValleyNewsNow.com. Here's what it looks like for us tomorrow. Chilly out the door, a little bit of fog possible in Yakima, a little overcast Tri-City, some showers in Walla Walla, at least through the midday, and then we'll start to see things clearing out later in the afternoon. Still to come, your seven day planning forecast. Austin, Alyssa. Thanks, Stacy. We're talking about older generations using new technology. Oh yeah, always a fun topic. What researchers say about th what they learned regarding senior citizens and what virtual reality might do for them. That's next. Time for a new roof? Let m and Roofing replace it with the product so good, you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want your yard. Prepare to be swept off your feet at Legends Casino Hotel in February. Win a chance to play the Planet Love Game Board every Thursday, and you could claim up to $25,000. Who needs a crummy box of chocolates or bouquet of wilted flowers when you can score between $1,500 and $25,000 just by using your Legends Rewards card to earn entries? Come on, do you really want all that romance stuff in February or a big wad of lustful loot? Land on Planet Love at Legends Casino Hotel for a chance to win thousands. 
Bathfitter does showers? That's right. We offer a wide selection of beautiful and functional showers in all shapes and sizes. We can even convert your bath into a shower. How about that? With our seamless one-piece walls and hundreds of design options, you'll get a beautiful new shower to fit your needs, guaranteed for life. Bathfitter's been around for 40 years, and we've been experts in showers for just as long. Get yours today. Bathfitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through March 31st, receive rebates up to $1,600 off on a new Daikin Fit System and thermostat when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Terms and conditions apply. See dealer for details. Stan, you're right. The only thing better than video games are virtual reality video games. Especially when you're in a player versus player battle arena. And you're right about Hollowgate being another fun thing you can do at Triple Play. Yes, I win another round. That makes Roy 9 Stan 3. Epic comeback incoming. Triple Play has fun attractions for everyone, including bowling, ropes course, and many more. All attached to a cozy hotel. If I wasn't too big to fit in there, I'd whoop them both. We wondered, where do people do their banking? So, we asked. I bank at Hapo. <laughs> Hapo's my bank. I've been a member of Hapo since I was 10 years old, 60 years. I bank at Hapo Community Credit Union. I'm with Hapo. You're not just a number there. You know, you're treated really well. I feel like they're part of my community. It's easy, it's convenient, and I don't know, I just love the people there. I guess the question we should be asking is, where do you credit union? Join Hapo Community Credit Union today. Want free college or career training? It's possible. Go to wagrant.org. Welcome back. It is President's Day, and we're talking about a new poll showing who's considered the top-ranking U.S. presidents in history. See if you agree with this. So this poll is based on 154 responses from scholars and historians all across the country. The college professors who conducted the survey say that Abraham Lincoln, Franklin Roosevelt, George Washington, Theodore Roosevelt, and Thomas Jefferson topped the list. They didn't tell us what they based this list on, though. <laughs> they did rank President Biden as the 14th best U.S. president, just ahead of Woodrow Wilson, Ronald Reagan, and Ulysses Grant. And according to the survey, they ranked former President Trump last. Residents at a senior living community in Florida recently got to try out virtual reality. This is part of a Stanford study to use virtual reality, or VR, to improve seniors' lives and to lessen the impact of dementia. Researchers found a large number of participants that they enjoyed virtual reality. They found that it improved their emotions and their interactions with facility staff. During testing, seniors picked from seven-minute virtual experiences like parachuting, riding in a tank, or visiting locations like Paris and Egypt. It brought back memories of my travels. In others, it brought back memories of my experience growing up on a farm. Stimulated virtually every area of my brain, uh, all, all the um, senses. Part of what triggers the memory with virtual reality is the uh, idea of immersive, mm -hmm. right? So when we take somebody out of the four walls of their current environment and place them into a different place, the, the mind treats that experience differently. The mind thinks that we're actually close to being in that reality. Mm -hmm. uh, so that can bring back a tremendous amount of joy, a tremendous amount of memories. So Stanford's peer-reviewed study working with the company Mind Immersive found nearly 80% of seniors reported having a more positive attitude following their VR session, 60% said they le felt less socially isolated, and a majority of the caregivers said that residents' moods also improved following those VR sessions. A large number of the participants also said that talking about their VR experience enhanced their relationships. Very cool. Yeah. Love to see it. Mm -hmm. Now we'll have a final look at your forecast when we come right back. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of blackjack, pie gal, heads up hold'em, or high card flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our players club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino where the locals play. 
Spectrum Internet delivers with fast and reliable speeds nationwide, so there's never been a better time to switch to Spectrum. Now get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus advanced Wi-Fi and a Spectrum Mobile Unlimited line free for 12 months. Visit Spectrum.com or call 844-242-1479. Spectrum Internet offers speed and reliability, while advanced Wi-Fi gives you best-in-class security and privacy for all your connected devices. And Spectrum Mobile delivers unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included. Switch now and get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 with advanced Wi-Fi and one line of Spectrum Mobile Unlimited free for 12 months. Start saving today. Go to Spectrum.com, a Spectrum store, call 844-242-1479 or scan the call now. Dear Nowhere, it was quite a journey to get to you. Jostling through ruts, winding through pines, and crawling up a mountain. But guess what? I do it all over again. Keep it wild, Forerunner. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Time for a new roof? Let Eminem Roof and Replace it with the product so good you'll never have to replace it again. All roofs come with the limited lifetime warranty. Never replace your roof again. And with the rain, snow, and wind comes roof damage. Don't wait till it's an emergency. Get your free roof assessment today. So if it's time for a new roof or siding, let Eminent Roof and Replace it with our certified installers. Because when it's all said and done, this is the sign you'll want in your yard. Ben Franklin Transit is hiring safety-oriented coach operators. Become a crucial part of the Tri-Cities community and provide a vital service to our riders. Get out from behind a desk and experience a workday that keeps you moving. Enjoy CDL training, comprehensive benefits, and generous paid time off. When you're driving for Ben Franklin Transit, you're part of a growing team of community-oriented professionals. Apply now to join the Ben Franklin Transit team. Why isn't the Fred Meyer shooter going to prison? Apple Valley News Now at 5 and 6 Tuesday. Welcome back. We're taking a final look at your forecast. Stacey, I'm looking forward to what you have in that seven day. That's right. The seven day forecast is looking good heading towards the weekend. Let's take a look at Walla Walla. Slight chance of showers a little unsettled for Tuesday, Wednesday, but things just get way better after that. Those temperatures will be running above average into the weekend. So the weekend's looking really promising. Slight chance of showers in Hermiston. Temperatures in the 50s above the average into the weekend there. Yakima a little bit cooler and uh, we'll see those temperatures at night get kind of chilly, but looking good as we head towards the weekend with a slight chance of rain and tri cities. We've got a slight chance of rain here. Scattered uh, showers possible on and off, but temperatures warming up. I like the looks of 55 degrees on Saturday. <laughs> Love I, to see that. <laughs> I'm like <laughs> focusing in right. on that. It's been like so hit or miss right. in, in the sense of it's sunny and then rain. And then it's foggy. And then it's foggy. And right. then it's cold. And then it warms back up. Yes. Yeah, so. You know, if you don't like it, wait 15 minutes. Right. That's there right. you go. That's right. <laughs> it's El Nino, and that El Nino should be coming to an end very soon as we head towards spring. So that's good news. Right. Fingers <laughs> crossed. Goodness. Thanks, Stacy. Thank you so much for watching. You can always find the latest on our website, AppleValleyNewsNow.com. We'll be back with another update at 11. I'm Austin Reed with Alyssa Warner, Stacy Lee. We're hoping your news is good news.